Hello there, this is Joel Toppin, and I just got a package in the mail from Multiman Publishing. And inside that package is the long awaited Pacific War module for the Advanced Squad Leader or ASL system. And uh, I wasn't actually intending to do a box opening video for this, but uh, there's so many cool things inside I decided, okay, let's go ahead and do a box opening. So let's show you what comes inside this bad boy. First of all, the box is huge and it's probably the best stock of uh, ASL box from MMP that I can remember it's really really nicely built it's gonna hold up real well as you can see from the side panel here this is module number 13 and it contains everything that you need to play uh, the Pacific War factions in the game now when I say everything you need you have to understand there are some prerequisites First of all, you're going to need the ASL rulebook in order to enjoy Rising Sun. You'll also need, at minimum, the uh, Beyond Valor module. You'll need ASL module number one. Uh, ASL module number one comes with the Germans, comes with the Soviets, and obviously you don't need Germans for playing Rising Sun, but the big thing that Beyond Valor comes with that you're going to need is all the system markers. Uh, in addition, the Soviets uh, are going to be useful in Rising Sun because I know there's at least one scenario in here from the 1939 Manchurian battles between the Soviets and the Japanese. So you're going to need at least the rulebook. You'll also need Beyond Valor. If you have uh, for King and Country, that will be also very useful because there's many scenarios in here that involve the British Commonwealth forces. Uh, it's also very useful if you have the module Yanks, which is long out of print, that includes the U.S. Army equipment. Rising Sun, as you're going to find out, has all the U.S. Marines and so forth. All right, let's see what we got here. First of all, we have a chart here for some of the Pacific War rules from Chapter G. We have Scenario 59. So I'm going to. These are usually put in in kind of a kind of a different order here so I'm just going to pull the scenario cards out and I'll show you how many you get here once I've got them all pulled out but there's a bunch of scenario cards in here and if you have the older Gung Ho and Kota Bushido modules as I understand it many of these scenarios have been redesigned but you can see there is a ton of scenarios here I mean this is quite a few scenarios uh, inside this package chapter Z for the Sand and Blood uh, miniature campaign for Gavutu and Tanambogo campaign from the Solomons. So there's like a little miniature campaign that comes in here. Another filler sheet. The rules for chapter G for your rule book. And this will this will update. And it's also nice to see that the print is larger than the uh, the last edition that came with Kota Bushido. Another filler sheet. All right, now we're getting to the counter sheets. We have the Chinese personnel. Our first map. This would be map number what? 34. Lots of heavy forest terrain on that. We have the national capabilities chart updated for the Pacific War factions. Another map. Map 35. We have Chinese uh, heavy equipment, vehicles. We have a bunch of open water overlays for ocean. You'll have to cut the, you'll have to trim these out. These are going to be used to modify your existing maps. We have another map in here. This is going to be map number what, 36. Really rugged terrain there. Our first sheet of Japanese personnel. Japanese are a lot of fun to play in ASL. Uh, the biggest thing that they do that's different is the uh, the front line units. They don't break when they when they have a when they fail a morale check. They just go down a step in strength and they keep coming at you. Pretty nasty. Uh, it's a, it's a very different. If you're used to playing European front battles in ASL, the the Japanese really bring something new to the table. Here's map 37. We have now Japanese equipment and some system markers for uh, the Pacific Theater. Again, this does not have all the system markers for the ASL system. You'll need uh, Beyond Valor for those. We have Chapter H for the Japanese vehicles and ordnance. 
here is the map. Now this is a paper map here uh, for Sand and Blood. That's the uh, uh, Gavutu and Tenembogo uh, miniature campaign, which are a lot of fun to play, by the way. Now we have the Japanese vehicles and ordnance counter sheet. Try to focus in here so you can see the detail. Map number 38. Alright, so you can see there's a ton of stuff in this package and there's a lot more coming here. I uh, have a bunch of overlays. This this will take many uh, hours to cut out, <laughs> but you have to cut each of these out. Uh, they are going to be used to modify existing maps. And again, this is this is reprints from uh, the old Kodo Bushido and a maybe Gung Ho package. So these are all brand new overlays. All right, so here we have, now this is what I'm going to be interested in. I know we have Marines in here, but I think there's also U.S. Army bits, too. Yes. Yes, there are U.S. Army bits in here, so it's maybe possible you will not have to have Yanks in order to play this. Very cool. Because I think in the earlier, the earlier editions, it just included the U.S. Marine units. All right, got room for another map? Sure, why not? Here's map 39. All right, so we have Chinese uh, vehicles in here. So here's Chapter H for the Chinese vehicles and ordnance notes. More uh, Americans here, more Marine Corps leaders, and here we have some vehicles, landing craft, uh, Shermans. You know what? I think this has got enough in it that I don't think that you will actually have to have Yanks. So if you have Beyond Valor for King Country and this one, which are all three in print, in addition to the rule book, you'll be able to enjoy, I think, everything that's in this module. That's really slick. Very good news. Well done, MMP. So here's map 47. And we have one more counter sheet, which has some uh, terrain uh, pieces for the uh, Pacific Front and also the uh, non-nation specific boats. Uh, these are just generic uh, boats that are going to be used, landing craft and whatnot, rice paddy, uh, punji stick uh, defenses, bunkers, caves. There's just this thing has got a little bit of everything. Bulldozers for the beaches. A lot of neat stuff here. So overall, that is what comes inside the box. That is a huge package. There's an awful lot that comes in there. It's not a cheap module. You're going to pay 100 bucks plus for this. To be honest with you, I don't remember how much I actually paid for it on the pre-order, but there is an awful lot that comes in there. A lot of work goes into this, so um, I'm going to give this one two very enthusiastic thumbs up. They did a great job on this package. So that is Rising Sun ASL Module 13, and that's what's in the box.